Hey everyone! Today on the Plastic Canvas we're painting Silas from the Horrific Journeys expansion for Mansions of Madness by Fantasy Flight Games. Hey everyone, Matt here from the Plastic Canvas and welcome to episode 18 of this Mansions of Madness miniature painting series. And today we're painting Silas, who is one of the paranormal investigators that comes in the Horrific Journeys expansion. Now this is the first video from the Horrific Journeys expansion. And the reason why I'm starting off with Silas, one of the investigators, is because the miniatures that come in this expansion are so much better than what come in the vanilla game and because i haven't touched any of the investigators yet basically because there's just not a lot in them um at least not enough that i think is worth really doing a video for so because these miniatures are quite a bit better um both in terms of the detail and the definition i wanted to start off with an investigator because i haven't done any yet um and i think there's a lot more to get out of this guy than any of the investigators that come in the base game now the thing that immediately stood out for me with silas is that he's Obviously, other than his pants, he's just predominantly skin. And this was going to be a really good way for me to see quite clearly how my painting has progressed. Um, because the, the last time I painted a mini that was mostly skin, it was the ninja from um, Spectrops, which is one of the agents that you can play as. Now he's got um, like a, a couple of little bits of like some, some blue armorish kind of stuff on, but predominantly skin. Um, and at the time I thought I did a good job of painting him because compared to what I had done in the past, it was looking pretty good. Um, but then as my painting progressed, looking back at it, it really, really wasn't done very well. It was fine for the amount of experience that I had, but looking back, um, yeah, that the, the job that I did on it wasn't great. Now, the reason why I say I don't think I did a very good job was because the skin tones especially just didn't really look natural. Um, and I think there were two sort of main reasons for that. One is that I had only just recently at the time gotten my first set of washes, so I was, I was still getting used to applying them um, and getting sort of a smooth consistency, I suppose, with them on the mini. But the other thing was that I was developing my ability to highlight and then also um, feather out the edges of, of the paint to get smooth transitions. And so with those two things paired together, um, yeah, the skin tones just really didn't look right. Thank you. 
All right, so here's where I start putting the skin wash on. And so like I said earlier, this is where I think um, sort of half of the mistake was that I made when painting the nip. So just as I get into the highlighting here of Silas, I reckon this is actually a really, really good mini if you wanted to start to learn how to highlight and do some blending and things like that, because there's enough definition and detail in this guy that there are some quite clear spots where the highlight should be, but it's not over the top that you need to use too many different colors. So like here as I get onto his pants, so I base coated them with earth brown, then did the Agrax wash over the top, and then my highlighting is just straight back to earth brown, and I don't lighten it off at all. So it, it, it's just built up with a couple of layers. So all I'm doing here is just with the earth brown, which again was the, the base coat, um, just putting it down where the light would be hitting um, and then just washing off the brush. I do that by licking it. You could do it you know, with your water in your pot um, and then just feathering the edges out just to try and get a bit of a smooth blend and then just going back again and again and again um, to just gradually build the highlight up. But every time I put the paint down, I put less and less and less and feather it out less and less and less so that it builds up the, um, the strongest tone where most of the light would be hitting. Um, so then, like with his um, sash belt sort of thing there, um, again, just base coated that with ooh, clotted red, maybe? Anyway, whichever red it was. Then I just did the caribou crimson wash over the top um, and then came back and highlighted it with the exact same red that I used. Um, and then the same thing with the skin tone here. I don't lighten the skin tone off at all. It's just the highlighting, the highlighting is just built up with layers. So rather than putting a layer down of the tan skin and then lightening it off to then do the next stage of highlighting and then lightening, lightening it again for the next stage, it's just tan skin. That was the base coat. Then as you saw, I put the Rikon Flesh Shade Wash over the top and then just come back with the tan skin again and off with the highlighting. So again, just putting the paint down where the light would be hitting, feathering the edges out um, and then coming back with a second coat but feathering it less. And then every time, every layer that goes on just builds the contrast um, until it gets to the um, the tone that I want in the brighter spots. Um, so yeah, I think if you're looking for a mini to start to, to do some highlighting in that one, this guy would be absolutely perfect because like I said, there's enough there that there's some clear spots where some highlighting should go, but not to the point where you need to mix up too many different colors or it's gonna get too complicated. So yeah, as you can see, my approach with this guy is just base coat, wash, and then just highlight with the base coat. But with my highlighting, it's built up, built up over a couple of layers um, to yeah, build it up to the tone that I want in the end.
Now just in case you can't exactly see what I'm doing here by painting the eye, all I did first was just with black I just filled the eye socket um, and then with skeleton bone, so I use a bone colour rather than a white colour because I find that white is just too white. So with that bone colour, um, filled over the top of the black but just left the top of the black there just for the, the, the top of the eye.